gauges are installed. Very nice. Rally Road billeted aluminum. Check out this video on how I get these bad boys in. We're lucky to have an extra oil port in under the plenum here to attach the sending unit uh, for oil pressure, oil temperature. And so what we're going to do, the first thing is uh, remove the air box, disconnect the MAF, remove this piece. Okay, with the cabin filter removed, I just use this T25 and there's four fasteners there holding it on and I disconnect the cables. Okay, gently squeeze here to pull this off and this one here, same thing, just gently squeeze and pull it off, move it to the side. Now disconnect this guy. Okay, so now we have to remove the clamps from the ITBs. It's actually not that hard. If you get a pair of needle nose pliers, sorry, I have only have two hands here. Gently squeeze from the outside point to the outside point. Outside point here, outside point here. And then with a little screwdriver, flathead, just gently push up on that and it's gonna release. And they also go on easily as well. There is a trick to getting them on as well. Okay, so time to move underneath. Now there is a 10 millimeter right here. You can see that there's a hose clamp right here. And there's another one way in, in the back underneath. There's another 10 millimeter back in here, holding the plenum on. You can kind of see the little rust spot. There is one more hose still in the back under the plenum. I just kind of ease this off, pulled this off a little bit. I'm going to collect these clips. Okay, so if I pull this back a little bit, I can see the uh, the last hose that's connected to the plenum. So here's the stock oil sensor and there's the extra port. So it looks like they're probably, I don't know, they say there's more room on the if you move the stock sensor to the back. So I'm gonna give that a try. So I ordered this guy online. So next step is really to try to find it, if I can get this so that it will fasten with the port coming down, then I'll have the most room relative to the plenum. Okay, let me do a quick pause here on the video. You can see the adapter on the bottom with the male M12 thread that goes into the port on the oil filter housing. Opposite of that male thread is another opening, which is a female M12 thread. Um, and you can also see the 1.8 MPT adapter. So on the top of the screen, you can see another brass connector. That one is M12 male thread to go into the other end of the adapter and 1.8 MPT. Uh, for the second sensor. So essentially, I'm able to put in uh, two sensors. Okay, so here I've got everything dry fit. Uh, you can see I relocated the OEM sensor to the back. And I've got this extender here that I picked up from the UK. And uh, you can see everything is dry fit right now, so it's gonna, it should be quite nice. So hopefully it doesn't crank down too far. That'll be nice and parallel. And then I've got temperature here, and then oil pressure here. So oil temperature, oil pressure coming off. Um, it's looking good so far. Okay, so now I've got this guy in, and so my port is here, and then I've got the second one here. So I'll put the oil pressure sensor here, and I'm gonna put the temperature sensor here. So there we go, now I've got the oil pressure sensor you can see it's pointing down so i had to use these crush washers to space it so that i would end up 
with the angle being uh, pointed down slightly. So yeah, that's installed. So now I'm gonna do a little bit of a run test to make sure that there's no leaks. Okay, so now you can see the finished product. I've got my temperature sensor here, oil pressure here. I've created this um, hose cover or this wire cover, right? It comes down here, zip tied it here, zip tied it here, tucks in, and you can see the temperature sensor wire comes in here and um, then splits off, uh, follows the same path. And then the plastic cover goes all the way up for the oil pressure sensor. And then on this side, we can just come in neatly this way. And now I'll find a place to get through the, the driver's side firewall. Okay guys, the trick is you put the first clip on first. And then once you get it mounted, you can squeeze it tight. Wow, I tell you, that was really easy to go back in. So if you're fighting it, there's definitely something wrong. Like this guy just kind of slid right in. I had to jig a little bit. And then I reconnected the back hose, no problem. Snugged everything in to make sure that this is, these two um, nuts are on the mount uh, with the 10 millimeter. So they were, then everything was kind of nice and snug. Put this one back in, there was no problem at all. So lots of clearance and uh, refastened uh, the connectors. Uh, reconnected the dipstick. This guy goes back on. This guy here goes back on. All right. And uh, so let's take a look inside. So let's see if I can get the light in there a little bit better. You can see the brass piece. There, sorry. Here, let me get it in there. So you can see there's lots of room back there. And uh, it's just hard to get to, uh, but generally speaking, a lot of room. Thank you for watching. Be sure to check out part two, where we're going to do all the internal wiring as well as mount the gauge cluster. Thanks again. Click subscribe if you like this video.